So I might pop my hands around and obviously you're always asking for, for consent. Is it cool if I just palpate your back muscles and your stomach muscles? And then I'll just be palpating around their, um, typically their erector spinae. And what we'll find is, I might even ask, well, where is your pain? And they might say, yeah, it's down here. And what do you think I'm pushing on here? And they might say, oh, I think that's my bone. I'm like, okay, do you want to try again? Um, this is your, this is your erector spina. This is one of the muscles. Then I might say, does it feel hard or soft? Um, and they'll say, yeah, it kind of feels pretty hard. And I might say, yeah, I, I agree. Then typically we will find that, especially in this upright position, people hold a lot of tension in their back and that might be a protective response, but also just because they have to hold that position a lot of the time. Uh, and, and they'll say, yeah, it, it feels kind of hard. And then I might say, well, well, when I push this muscle here, does that feel hard or soft? And they'll say, well, that feels soft. Um, okay, what about if you tense that muscle? So if you tense, you know, if, like if you clench your fist for me and we'll palpate again, does that feel hard or soft? Obviously it feels harder, right? Now if you, and then you can show that example again, if you relax it, it feels softer. If you walked around tense with a tense fist for eight hours a day, or for, since five years ago when this started, when you were, um, your, your son was born, you can imagine that that muscle, like what do you think is gonna happen to that muscle? And they're like, yeah, it's probably gonna be pretty sore. It's like, yeah, that's really interesting because your, your back is really tense here and that's not a normal thing for, for backs to do. Um, for the purpose of today, like sometimes in the clinic, I might move straight into a bit of a behavioral experiment here if I've got good rapport with that patient.